Good morning, Kingsley community. Pastor Colleen Wehrman here coming to you with another daily devotion for September 7, 2023. I'm in my car. I got an appointment at 9.30. I got three minutes. <laughs> anyway, um, again, from our dailybread.org. This time I printed it out and my printer's running out of ink. It's called Acts of Kindness and we're to read Proverbs 1 through 2. So Proverbs 1, chapter 1 and chapter 2. And then 1 Corinthians 16, the whole chapter, apparently. And she's concentrating on Ruth 2, verse 20. This is where Ruth is speaking about, or Naomi is speaking about Boaz, who, quote, he has not stopped showing his kindness to the living and the dead. So you can read Ruth 2, 5 through 12. And then the devotion is Acts of Kindness. Months after suffering a miscarriage, Valerie decided to have a garage sale. Jared, a neighbor craftsman, a few moment, minutes away, eagerly bought the baby crib she was selling. While there, his wife talked with Valerie and learned about her loss. After hearing of her situation on the way home, Gerald decided to use the crib to craft a keepsake for Valerie. A week later, he tearfully presented her with a beautiful bench. There are good people out there, and he's proof, Valerie said. Like Valerie, Ruth and Naomi suffered great loss. Naomi's husband had two sons and they died and now she and her bereft daughter-in-law Ruth had no heirs and no one to find provide for them that's where Boaz stepped in when Ruth went to the field to pick up leftover grain Boaz the owner asked about her when he learned who she was he was kind to her amazed Ruth asked why have I found such favor in your eyes he replied I've been told all about you all about what you have done for your mother-in-law since the death of your husband. Boaz later married Ruth and provided for Naomi. Through their marriage, a forefather of David and of Jesus was born, as God used Gerald and Boaz to help transform the grief of another. God can also work through us to show kindness and empathy to others in pain. This is by Alyssa Keita. So when have you been the giver or recipient of an act of kindness? Now, there's some people out there that say, I don't want any help. I like to be a giver. I don't like to receive gifts. Well, if you're a giver and that's your gift, remember, there's other people who are givers and that's their gift, too. So if they give a gift, accept it. Say thank you. And then if you have been a giver or a recipient of an act of kindness, what was the result? I've heard people say, someone paid for my dinner. Somebody paid for my lunch. I think that's really cool. Or I went and delivered, you know, a meal to a person that needed help or I delivered food to someone that couldn't come to the food pantry or, and how, what was the result? The result was much thanks from that person. And for me, it was, yep, doing what God would do. So be an encourager today, help someone in need and um, be like Boaz, be like this Gerald. I think that was really wonderful of him. Um, Show an act of kindness today. Uh, this Sunday, we start a new series called um, Heroes of the Faith. And we're going to concentrate on Deborah, who is a prophet, a judge of Israel, and also, obviously, a military strategist. And so we're going to read about Deborah. And um, not in shock that a woman was a leader, because I believe there was a lot of women leaders, but they just weren't written about. Um, in Israel's time. And um, we're going to show how, because of Deborah, God used her to um, answer the cry of the Israelite people who were under the oppression of the Canaanites. And they were not a very nice group. Syrians were probably the worst. The Canaanites weren't so good either. Um, and so we're going to hear about that story. And I think we always need to focus on what it says about God. And I think what it says about God is that be prepared for God to use you in whatever way God needs to use you to um, help someone, to encourage someone, um, to strengthen their faith. There's one part where the military leader she calls to help lead the group against the Canaanites, um, Barak, I think his name was, he... Uh, kind of didn't have faith in God. He didn't believe the promise that God said he'd deliver them. He'd win. And so he said, I ain't going, Deborah, unless you go with me. So Deborah said, of course, I'll go with you. And then the story goes on. 
So his faith was weak, meaning he didn't be he believed in God, the one true God. He knew in the past that God had defeated the armies that opposed or the enemies that opposed Israel, but he didn't believe it this time because he was scared. He was afraid. And so she had strength and faith that the promises of God would come true. And so she told him, of course, I'll go with you. So how can you help someone that way today? Uh, that's what we're going to talk about. Still 9 a.m. We're not going to move our service until October 1st, and we will move the 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Still only one service, um, and that will be October 1st. So it's 9 a.m. right here on live stream this Sunday, or um, come and visit us at 113 Blair Street. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for sending your son to redeem me, the greatest act of kindness of all. Help me to be someone that shows an act of kindness to another. 